And yeah, they're having a great time. I put this one in, in, in it in, in the uh, in the series because um, it became really aware that uh, the work was also about my ma Martha and I, and that it was about our relationship. You know, Martha's my stepdaughter, and she came into my life. Excuse me, when she was seven. And I always think there's a reason for things, you know, when we kind of collide into people's paths. <coughs> we ask ourselves, you know, how, you know how, do we, how do we come here together? You know, you, do you, I don't know if you get that with friendships or kind of people that you meet and you go, oh, this is kind of, there's a kind of deep familiarity or something I'm meant to know about you. Well, there was like that between me and Martha when I first met her. And she did, when I first met her, that's exactly the look that she gave me through the, mm -hmm. through the van of the car. Um, the window, and uh, this kind of real sense of kind of here we are together, and we do most definitely mirror each other's history. And this is a. Uh after the swim. I'm reminded, you know, when I look at these pictures, I did my uh, first degree in fine art painting and uh, that I had a you know, really deep love for, for painting. And I still do. You know, in fact, I'll go and see more painting, more uh, 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 fine art painting exhibitions and I still do photography. And so, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't have a left up here. How many have you got? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm used to some time, I'm relying on. You've done 45 minutes. Oh, have I? Know. Okay, and I'll, I'll just finish off here then. And uh, so this is the three, very quickly. And, uh, and I just put this in because, you know. Um, Beth is just holding this elastic band and you know there's this tension here in the picture and there is something that I think we all go through particularly at this age about what happens when you have three together you know and the push and pulls of friendship and um, and how that feels and I'll just take you through these this is in, in Torquay in uh, a nightclub not nightclub, kebab shop isn't it <laughs> in a kebab shop, and so very quickly, Martha just brings me up and says, "We're all in a kebab, you know, in a in a club and talking. We'll be getting chucked out now. Do you want to come and photograph us?" So I, half four in the morning, I just jump out of bed with my pajamas on, <laughs> grab a flask of tea, jump in the car, drive an hour away, and because I don't use any flash or any lights, so I'm having to use any light I can find, and I have to think very quickly, which is in the kebab shop, and then. And now I've got to herd loads of completely useless teenagers who have been clubbing like crazy all night into the kebab shop where the security trying to chuck me out. Well, I've got my pyjamas on <laughs> and I've got about 10 minutes to get a shot and it's freezing cold in the winter. So it's kind of like I'm right up against it. But, you know, when you're right up against it, just things happen, don't they? So 